up out of there. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a gangsta Tonight. party. This is a lateral view of the brain. Here we have the inferior temporal gyrus, the middle temporal gyrus, and the superior temporal gyrus. They are divided by sulcus. This is the superior temporal sulcus. This is the inferior temporal sulcus. If you follow the superior temporal sulcus, it is going to be surrounded by the angular gyrus. Here is the lateral sulcus. If you extend it, when it extends to the posterior, it's going to be surrounded by the supramarginal gyrus. We're going to be moving more anterior to the frontal lobe. Here we have the superior frontal gyrus the middle frontal gyrus and the inferior frontal gyrus. It is divided by two sulcus, the superior frontal sulcus and the inferior frontal sulcus. Now in the region of the inferior frontal gyrus there are three structures pars orbitalis, pars triangularis, and pars opercularis. Pars triangularis and pars opercularis make up a region called Broca's area. Now we're going to be moving more posterior. Right here is the central sulcus. Anterior to the central sulcus is a gyrus called the precentral gyrus. More anterior to this is the pre the precentral sulcus. Now posterior to the central sulcus is the post-central gyrus. Posterior to this is the post-central sulcus. Again, we have the central sulcus, pre-central gyrus, which is also called the motor cortex, and the pre-central sulcus. Posterior is the post-central sulcus, sorry, post-central gyrus, posterior to that is the post-central sulcus. Now more posterior, we have two lobules. Right here is the... Right here is the superior parietal lobule. Sorry, I just had a roach on me. Superior parietal lobule and the inferior parietal lobule. This is separated by a structure called the inf intraparietal sulcus. Superior parietal lobule, inferior parietal lobule, divided by the intraparietal sulcus. Hey.